Happy Friday, everyone. This week, I'm coming to you live from the Wisconsin Dells because, one, I'm on vacation. And a lot of you are probably like, Phil Brown, why did you make this video if you're on vacation? Well, I was at a local Walmart picking up groceries in between our awesome sessions at the water parks. That being said, I noticed that there was a laptop on sale, and it got me to thinking. I've, I've heard a lot of people ask me, you know, what computer should I buy? What kind of specs are we looking at? What does Fusion 360 need to run? I see this post all the time in the Facebook group for Fusion 360 users. Uh, there's tons of groups out there. I'm a part of most of them. But this video is aimed at bench testing some laptops. Yes, I said laptops. You guys want to see desktops. I'm always happy to hear you out and lend me your computer so I could do it. But we're going to go through and we're going to show you several different laptops that we had laying around, a couple that we have actually bought new, some very new ones. And what does a price point look like? What kind of specs do you really need? And why I still strongly believe that about $1,000 at a local retail store, Walmart, Target, Best Buy, I know, I know a lot of you guys are going to cringe at me about the Best Buy comment, but a computer you could buy today somewhere that has plenty for what you need and how you can go about that. Also, stay tuned until the end when you could actually see how you can enter into a chance to win this actual laptop right here that we bought specifically for all of you users out there to get a chance to win. That being said, let's go ahead and get inside Fusion 360 and learn about what we actually need to accomplish this bench test, where the standings are, and outside of that, how you can go about actually winning this laptop. Before we dig into the actual bench test that we performed to get our results, let's look at the minimum specs of what Fusion calls for at Autodesk. So as you can see right here, we're looking at Windows 10, four gigabytes of RAM, four core processor, and lastly, you can use integrated graphics. I don't recommend it. However, I've heard a lot of customers with success with like a Surface laptop. So that being said, let's go ahead and look at what we recommend at NextGen Cam. So we're gonna start off with Windows 11, 32 gigs of RAM. RAM is cheap, guys. Don't be shy to upgrade and add a little extra if you can. As well, we like to go with six cores. Okay, so what is the bench test and how did we conduct it and what did we use? Well, for example here is we did two setups with continuous rest machining turned on. That being said, we started out with something simple like a 2D contour and do a few more simpler 2D tool paths. And then we wrapped that all up with some rest machining and then finally getting into some heavy steep and shallows, followed by a five axis steep and shallow toolpath. So how we conducted the actual bench test on every single one of these machines, which they all did it. Some of them took a lot longer than expected, as you'll see in our charts here in a minute. But I'm going to take both of these and I'm actually going to clear these toolpaths. So if you want to do this on your own, there is a link to this part file below. But we're going to take every one of these toolpaths and we're going to clear the toolpath themselves. And then just like that, I'm going to take both of these in one shot. I'm going to go ahead and generate those. And then from there, you're going to see quite a few of these go off much quicker. And as you're going to see based on that, I'm going to pull my log file for each toolpath. So don't be shocked when you see this in a minute on my X16 specs that I actually ran that they're probably going to be faster. And the reason for that is, is currently, guys, I'm running a ton of stuff in the background. No machine out there is going to run just Fusion, as I will declare to you a ton. That being said, is it will take longer because I am recording this video right now on the same machine I'm trying to run these toolpaths. But the neat thing is, is you can see a lot of these toolpaths, and now the rest machining is coming in full scale to be able to go in and still be calculating very hard on this computer and trying to make things happen. So let's jump over and look at the actual specs and how the computers handled this. All right, now that we've seen the bench test, let's go ahead and look at the results that we've gotten so far. So as you can see down here below, I have all my results from my different computers. Again, we went with some old ones we had laying around in the office to some newer ones to even a brand new one that we just bought and even manually upgraded it to 32 gigs of RAM. So again, you're going to see a lot of different cores. You're going to see a lot of different actual 
different versions of RAM. You're even going to see different graphics card in these combinations. However, the results always still come back to the same. So I did have to break my charts into two different segments. But as you can see on my simpler tool paths, newer is always better, right? So when we start out with our M6800 and we move further over into the actual G5 or GF63 that we're giving away, and then lastly wrapping up with like our Flow X16, the calculation times are dramatically reduced, especially considering some of those processors were released in 14 and 15, as you see in that middle column, and then some that are released actually just last year. I know we're now in 2023, guys, and there's probably something later and greater, but the whole idea of this video is, is for majority of you out there is to find a good price point computer that instead of spending $2,700 this year and having a computer that lasts two to three years, maybe with the way things are moving and changing that something less than a hundred or a, not a hundred dollars. I apologize. A thousand dollars that you could buy off the shelf at Walmart or target best buy even might be a better candidate. And that's what we did with our GF 63 and our idea pad. We went out, we both bought both of these computers straight from a local retailer. I went ahead and upgraded the GF 63 to 32 gigs of Ram. I highly recommend it. You'll actually see in the results chart that I have up here, when we added RAM, we actually got worse results. However, nobody's just running Fusion, right? Windows nowadays eats 8 gigs of RAM. Chrome eats 8 gigs of RAM. Startup Office, throw in Chrome. Maybe you're using an ERP system. You're going to use 32 gigs of RAM, and it's going to be extremely handy. And I'm actually going to show you that here in a minute when we actually have the video results and more of the results based around that. But let's go ahead and move over and let's look at the more complex tool paths. Again, they're very close based on a price point. You know, those couple hundred dollar laptops versus my couple thousand dollar laptops that myself and Umer use for Fusion 360, it's quite dramatically the same. There's not a big jump. We do, however, see a massive jump at the end of the day when you start to consider that we are running, you know, eight cores, 16 threads. We're also running AMD CPUs. I'm not to say AMD is better than Intel. AMD runs a little more efficient. Um, tie that in with the fact that both the X13 and the X16s are two-in-ones. We love our touchscreen, guys. We love the ability to actually turn it into a tablet on the shop floor. And that's what you're paying for at that higher dollar amount. Also, 3070 Ti graphics card, it's going to cost you more than the 3050, as we've tested in a lot of our laptops, and we almost like the 3050 over it, because Fusion is not graphics card dependent, and as you heard me before, don't spend your money on the actual graphics card. Spend your money on the processor, and then buy some extra RAM. That's my recommendation to anybody out there, is no matter what laptop you were to go with, Pick the laptop that allows you to upgrade the RAM to 32. Don't sweat the actual graphics card. Again, we recommend dedicated. 3050 is an amazing card. But you want to put all your money into the CPU. Yes, going to Ryzen 9 like we have versus Ryzen 7. Are you going to see a leap in performance? Not massively. Would you see a leap in performance going from like a 3000 Ryzen to a 6000 Ryzen series? Yes. Same with Intel. If you're using a 9000 series Intel and then you make that jump up to now the 11000 series, it's going to be pretty dramatic over that time span. But even still, over the last couple of years, other than more cores, um, you are getting higher clock speeds and clock speeds do add into Fusion 360. So let's pivot now and let's look a little deeper into just the GF63 and how those results look. All right. Diving deeper in the GF63, right? And we got the same results basically coming out of that actual idea pad. Um, AMD, Intel, doesn't really matter, guys, in my opinion. Um, outside of that, though, is you can see when we jumped from the actual original 8 gigs of RAM and we bumped that to 16, we did actually see a significant improvement on all those simpler tool paths, right? So then jumping to 32 gigs, granted, this was going from 16 gig single channel to 32 gig dual channel. So that could play a little bit of a factor in it. However, 32 gigs is the max for this laptop. And as I said before, I would expect to get 18 months, maybe two years out of this thing. 
never hurts to upgrade a laptop every year. You guys can obviously write that off on taxes as the company can, or you could retire it to maybe somebody in the shipping department, right? But let's go ahead now and let's look at the other side of the spectrum. So let's look at the more complex toolpaths. Again, the margin for error here is so small that honestly going from that eight gigs to that 16, still highly recommended. Given that we actually bought our pack of RAM for $57 to go to 32, even though we do see a little slower results, I'm still gonna stress to you guys, Nobody runs just Fusion. This was Fusion on a brand new install. We only updated the drivers and only installed Fusion. I didn't have Chrome running. I didn't have YouTube playing my music, right? How many of you out there use Shopify? Or not Shopify, but Spotify, right? Uh, that being said is I would still highly recommend going 32 over 16 unless you have some 16 laying around to throw right up in there. Uh, but at the end of the day, I still firmly believe that the actual using a minimum of six cores, this is a six core actual machine. It's not eight, it's not four. Eight would be better again, but going from that, getting your RAM up to 16 or 32 is gonna be big and having that dedicated graphics card. Again, the idea pad in this case actually had eight cores versus 16. And I'm talking about the actual physical cores, not the threads, which also play into that, as you guys will see in that video. So. Wrapping this up, everybody's gonna wonder, how do I get the free laptop, right? Well, let's go ahead and talk about that. So, the free laptop, right? This laptop right here. How do you get entered into your chance to win this laptop? Well, before I tell you how, I am first gonna tell you that this laptop is technically open box. I did open it, I installed Fusion, I'm gonna wipe it clean, and we upped it to both 16 and then 32 gigs of RAM. So. Even though it is brand new, I'm gonna to declare to you it is open box, don't worry, warranty, not voided, still fully functional. But that being said, how do you enter your chance into winning? Well, every time you like a video like this video or leave a comment telling us how much you don't like this video, we will still enter you in a chance to win this actual laptop. On top of that, we're also gonna go out there and we're going to allow, when you subscribe to any of our social medias, like any of our actual social media posts, comment on those as well, and even shares are all gonna enter you in chances to win this laptop at the end of July. So that's just the first level that you could do. Now, if you're currently one of our next gen customers to which we not only support the software, but we actually sell the software, you're also entered in a chance. So we're gonna pull a drawing from anybody and everybody. It doesn't matter if you're a current customer, you're an old customer, I shouldn't say old, a legacy customer maybe, but that being said, you have that ability to be entered into a chance. So now for anybody that's looking to acquire extra chances is you can always move your software over to us from your current reseller or even if you're Autodesk Direct. And with that, we'll actually give you support till your renewal date. And then we can actually set you up to get you renewing through us so that you always have chances to win things like this, expert support from myself or my colleague Umer, not to mention our brand new guy, Mark, he's tooling up still to get better and better, but he's always happy to answer your questions as fast as we can with our expert support app that's also in the bio. So I'm not gonna go out to you guys and say this is a pay to win thing. I don't want you guys to spend a ton of money through our company. I take that back, I shouldn't say that. My boss will get mad at me, but you can buy your software through us. You can buy our support packages. We'll even support you if you're not one of our customers. Just don't be surprised when my sales rep asks out, reaches out to you and asks you to move your license over, right? With moving those licenses over, it's still additional chances to win this laptop I have right here. So sorry for all of you on educational licenses and hobby licenses. There's not much I can do for you in particular. However, we are still here to support you in any way we can based off our team. So again, the best way to get this laptop is going to be like a video like this, like any of the videos on our channels, it doesn't even have to be a Fusion video, subscribe to our channel, subscribe to our other social medias, and even move your licenses over to Next Gen Camp. So we're here for you guys, we're here happy to always help. I would love to hear down in the comments section, do you wanna see a version of this on desktop computers? Are you willing to lend you your machine up for 20 minutes for me to test your actual desktop computer? Well, let me know down below. That being said, it's Friday, guys. Go ahead. Let's get out to it. Let's get the actual last day of the week done and then get ready for Monday.